combat. The big spears are coming down, the fighting swords are coming out, the huge great metal shields are being brought into action. Bang your enemy with a shield, move his shield out the way, stab him with his little sword, move on. Bang, stab, bang, stab. In close quarters, the Persians' short scimitars and light armor are no match for the Athenians' heavy armor and long spears. Everywhere, Persian soldiers lie dead on the battlefield. So far, Miltiades' strategy is working exactly as planned. On the flanks, where Athenian soldiers are more numerous, they're pushing the Persians back with tremendous force. Finally, the Persians on the wings of the battle turn to flee while the Athenians give chase. Where's the best place to chase retreating Persian troops? A. Into the marsh. B. Into the ocean. C. Up the hill. The answer? If you chase Persian soldiers up the hill, they can hide in the trees and moving towards the ocean will lead them to the safety of their ships. But if you force them into the marsh, they'll struggle and drown. The answer is A. Miltiades orders his troops to chase the retreating Persians into a nearby marsh, where the foreign invaders suffer disastrous consequences. This was a very deadly and dangerous place, and the Persians didn't know their way around in this march. So hundreds and hundreds of them drowned in the muddy waters. Meanwhile, the Greeks in Miltiades' weaker center line are in trouble. Here, the Persians are taking ground. If Miltiades doesn't act fast, the Greek center line will collapse, and Persian forces will turn on the remaining Greeks. How can your troops on the flanks help the trapped troops in the middle? A. Stop chasing the retreating Persians and double back on the attacking Persians. B. Regroup and drive a wedge between the Greeks and the Persians fighting at the center line. C. Run for the Persian ships. The Persians will abandon the battle to give chase. It's late morning on the 17th of September 490 BC. The Greek and Persian armies are in the thick of battle on the plains of Marathon. Commander Miltiades and the outer flanks of his Athenian troops have overpowered the wings of the Persian line and have them on the run. But now Persian commander Datis's center forces are about to overrun Miltiades' weaker center line. You are Commander Miltiades. How can your troops on the flanks help the trapped troops in the middle? A. Stop chasing the retreating Persians and double back on the attacking Persians. B. Regroup and drive a wedge between the Greeks and the Persians fighting at the center line. C. Run for the Persian ships. The Persians will abandon the battle to give chase. The answer? There's no guarantee that the Persians will follow Greek soldiers running for the ships and regrouping to drive a wedge between the Greeks and the Persians at the center line would leave the enemy an open escape route. But abandoning the chase on the retreating enemy and doubling back on the attacking Persians allows you to encircle and entrap them. The answer is A. When the Athenian wings had broken through the Persian army, Miltiades got his men together, stopped the pursuit and turned them around to bring them back to attack the Persian center in its rear and destroy it completely. Realizing defeat, Datis orders his remaining forces to retreat to the safety of the Persian ships. The Athenians follow their enemy into the crashing surf and cut them down as they flee. The Persians were fighting now to save their very lives and so consequently the fighting within the surf line would have been particularly ferocious. Despite heavy casualties, many Persian soldiers managed to board their ships. Miltiades must not let them leave the harbour. If the Persians managed to get back on their ships after the battle and sail around to Athens, they might still capture the city of Athens. How do you keep the ships from leaving the harbour? Board the ships and take crews hostage. B. 
cut the sails with swords, you'll disable more ships with fewer men. C. Set the ships on fire, you'll stop the ships and kill Persian soldiers. The answer? The Greeks are still outnumbered, so taking the ships and crew hostage would be impossible. And cutting the sails with swords won't necessarily keep the crewmen from rowing away. But setting the ships on fire eliminates all possibility of escape. The answer is C. Miltiades tells his soldiers to use flaming torches to set the Persian ships on fire. But they only managed to destroy seven of the 200 vessels. As feared, the remaining ships set sail in the direction of the Bay of Phaleron, a port on the peninsula near Athens. Miltiades was very worried that if the Persians sailed back to the city of Athens before the Athenians knew Miltiades had won the battle, the Athenians might be terrified when they saw the fleet and surrendered to Persia anyway, even though the army had won a great victory. To save the city, Miltiades must get word of the Greek victory to Athens, and fast. Who do you send to warn the city to hold fast when the Persians arrive? A the runner Pheidippides. He's your fastest man, and time is of the essence. B. A servant. A servant isn't battle-weary, and is in better condition to make the trip. C. Go yourself. If there are still traitors willing to betray the city, they will not challenge your authority. The answer? Although you command respect in Athens, you're needed here to urge your weary soldiers home as quickly as possible. And servants are not trained runners, so they can't physically make the trip. But since time is of the essence, it's imperative that you send the fastest messenger, Pheidippides, to warn the city. The answer is A. It would have taken Pheidippides about two hours to run to the city of Athens. The distance from Marathon to Athens is 26 miles, 385 yards. The same distance as a modern marathon. Pheidippides runs to Athens at top speed. Upon arrival, he announces breathlessly, we have won, and collapses dead on the spot. Meanwhile, Commander Miltiades and his men race towards Athens to defend the city. But there's a chance they won't arrive in time. The citizens of Athens may have to fend for themselves. What can the citizens of Athens do to prepare for a Persian invasion? A. Barricade the gate. Keep the Persians out until the Greek army arrives. B. Abandon the city. Take refuge in the hills. C. Pose as soldiers. From a distance, the Persians will be fooled. The answer? Barricading the gate will not keep out Persian arrows, and abandoning the city will leave it wide open to enemy invasion. But if the citizens of Athens stand in windows and line the walls, the city will appear well defended, and the Persians might not attack. The answer is C. The citizens of Athens arm the city. Every man, woman and child stand visibly along the walls and in windows to make the city look well defended. What you're trying to do is you're trying to bluff the enemy. If you look like a soldier, you might very well be a soldier. Datis sails into Phaleron Bay, ready to swarm Athens. But to his dismay, the city appears well armed. Meanwhile, Miltiades and his victorious Greeks are fast approaching. The sight is too much for Datis and the defeated Persians. Without even setting foot on land, they turn around and sail home. The Battle of Marathon ended in complete success for Miltiades and the Athenian army. Even though they were outnumbered three to one, they killed 6,400 Persians, whilst losing only 192 of their own men. No one expected the Athenians to win the Battle of Marathon. So when they did, news raced around the Greek world. No one could believe what they had done. Not only had the Greeks stood up to the mighty Persians and saved their city from certain destruction, they earned the respect that would drive their civilization for generations to come.
The Battle of Marathon was significant for the Athenians in two major ways. But now everyone in the Greek world had to recognize that they were one of the greatest powers to be reckoned with.